Chase, thank you. Tonight there are new calls for oversight after the owners of a group home for men now face neglect and other charges. Yeah, Two News has been reporting on the issues with the Evergreen Place in Midvale for over a year now. Back in January 2022, the Salt Lake County Health Department received a report of deplorable conditions inside the group home and they shut it down. 17 people were displaced and Two News learned it was operating at the time without a valid license. Days later, the Utah Attorney General's office confirmed it was investigating. And then last week, the AG's office charged the two owners with exploiting vulnerable adults, neglect, and even financial abuse. Today, Disability Law Center released a report calling for more state oversight of similar facilities following the death of a man. Ariel Harrison picks up the part of the story for us tonight. Ariel. Yeah, they tell me the oversight system when it comes to these long term care facilities in Utah is broken. And as a result, we are failing some of our most vulnerable populations. Now, I spoke with a brother tonight who is uh, related to one of the victims named in this new report, who they say, you know, survived deplorable conditions, neglect, only to go to a next facility where he was once again failed and it cost him his life. He called me on the phone every day. Nick Nguyen knew his brother Chen well, close in age. He born in the November, same year, <laughs> 1973. Only the 10, 10 months apart. They lived under the same roof for years. So when you cared for him, you were able to get him his medicine. Then he went to Always. Medicine. When Chen moved into the care facilities, he regularly told his brother he wasn't being fed or getting his meds, something he desperately needed to treat his schizophrenia and suicidal ideations. According to the DLC's report, the night he died in April 2022, he succumbed to suicide. Just hours before, he pleaded with his brother for help. He said he feels so bad. He need the, the med, he need the medicine. And I say, okay, let me talk to them. It seemed like a particularly egregious set of facts when we first learned about it. Nate Krippis is the supervising attorney at the DLC. Do you think there are more Chens out there? Unfortunately, yes. He says Chen survived deplorable conditions and neglected Evergreen only to fall through the cracks again. When they shut it down, the state had nowhere for people with serious mental illness to go. There are gaps in our system that they just didn't have anywhere. And so Chen ended up um, in a facility for people with intellectual disabilities. Krippis says that's because our state oversight system is broken. And until it's fixed, there will be more victims like Chen. The report is a big step. What comes after? You know, I think one is, is this, um, you know, talking to you all and trying to make sure people are aware um, that this is a problem. Um, so, um, you know, if they have experienced something or they're aware of something, I, I hope they will come forward and share this because I think um, the system needs reform. Now coming out here for a live look at the Department of Health and Human Services, which oversees these types of facilities. I'm told the governor ultimately oversees that specific department. And accord that's all according to Nate again with the Disability Law Center. He says the reports that they issued call for the governor and his team to make sure that there is this oversight we so desperately need, uh, making sure that um, those teams that go out and evaluate these different facilities to ensure they're in compliance. I do have a note out to the governor's team tonight to ask about that. I'll be sure to let everyone know what they say. Reporting live in Salt Lake, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News.